Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup collective haul. I've kind of been all over the place this past month, um, just collecting a couple things. Most of this stuff is drugstore, but I do have a couple things from Sephora. Um, so everything is just sitting in this bag, and I figured why not show you guys everything that I got. Um, a couple things I did dig into already, um, but that's besides the point. So if you guys want to see what my collective haul is, then just keep watching. Okay, so everything is in the Sephora bag, and I'm just going to kind of grab stuff as I go. Um, I went to Walmart and grabbed some makeup wipes not that long ago, so I got like a two-pack of the Equate ones because they just do the job, um, and they were like on sale or whatever, and I don't really care like what kind of makeup wipes I have as long as, you know, I have makeup wipes. So, yeah, I did get two packs of these because um, they came in like a two-pack, and one of them is in my bathroom, and I keep one near my vanity. Um, so yeah, these have already been dug into. Okay, so the next thing that's in here is some hair ties, which I needed because if you're you know a girl then you know the struggle is real because you're always running out of hair ties and bobby pins am i right um so i had to grab more of those the next thing that i got were some eyelashes and i think i got these at kmart and these are the kiss um it doesn't say it doesn't say what kind they are it just says um I think they're lash number 11, but I'm not sure. They just look like this. They're kind of like the Demi Wispies from Ardell, but they just look like this. Um, and I just grabbed them because they were on sale, and you get like five of them, and I have a pair on today. Um, and I just like these for like my more natural kind of days. So I do really like these, and um, it comes with like this like tweezer thing, which is kind of cool. I haven't tried it yet, but yeah, so I grabbed these at Kmart, I think. So the next thing that I got was... Um, oh, these I got at Walgreens. This is the Elsa, like, these are like Ardell, Ardell eyelashes. And I saw them on sale there, and I was like, I have to get this because it's just so cute. Um, I don't know, like, I feel like Frozen was just so, like, hyped up and stuff. Um, I did think the movie was cute, but I liked these eyelashes and they were on sale. Because usually it's, like, $4 for one pair, so I figured I'd just grab this because it's $4 for two pairs. Um, so, yeah, and it's really cute. It's, like, the whole, like, Elsa edition um but they're just the demi wispies which you can get i think just regularly like like in a regular ardell pack or whatever so i grabbed those the next thing that i got was at walmart which i had already dug into um it's the garnier ultra lift anti-wrinkle firming eye cream because i did run out of my other stuff it just looks like this and i've been using it i'm not really sure how i feel about it yet but it's just like a white consistency it's very moisturizing and i really like it so far um but yeah i did grab that okay so the next thing that i got was this i grabbed at five below um because i was there the other day actually and they had this palette here and it's the um Petal Pusher palette by Wet n Wild and it was like only $2.50 and usually it's like 6 bucks at like Walmart and stuff so I figured why not grab it um, I haven't opened it or anything yet but I was like that's such a steal 2 bucks for this palette and Wet n Wild eyeshadows are bomb so I figured why not pick it up okay, so the next thing that I got was um, I think I grabbed this at Face Values and this is the Garnier Fruity Style um, New Deconstructed Texture Tease Dry Touch Finish Spray um, it just looks like this it's kind of like a texture hairspray and it's like really easy to tease your hair with um not that i tease my hair a lot but it like helps with like volume and stuff and it's like really great if you have like short hair and you really want volume or if you have like very thin fine hair this will really you really like this and it's like three dollars um and i like it. it smells good and i like it because i like my buns to be like really thick and um even though my hair is like really thick as it is i still spray it and then i just put my hair up like this and it makes it like extra thick and stuff and i just like the texture it gives especially when my hair is like freshly washed because it's just so like hard to like handle because it's so soft and stuff so this helps with that and it doesn't like it's like so easy to brush out and everything so I really like it and yeah Okay, so the next thing that I grabbed was I'm just gonna grab this because this is sitting right here um, this was from Sephora and I finally got my hands on this. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. It's the contouring one. Um, it's not the eyeshadow one. Um, but yeah, I finally got my hands on it. I haven't used it yet. Yeah, I'm so excited that I finally got my hands on this. Um, I've been wanting it for forever, but they always it's always out of stock. Um, so I finally got it. My boyfriend actually treated me to it. So I'm really excited. And if you guys want like a first impressions or something like that, then I definitely will do that. Um, but I am so excited for this. You have no idea. Okay, so the next thing that I got at Sephora was, like, this, um, like, little bag thing that came, like, with, um, when you sign up for, like, these JCPenney rewards or whatever the hell. So they gave me, like, a free little, like, Sephora clutch bag, but I'm just gonna use it as, like, a makeup bag or something to throw in my purse. So there's that. And then the next thing that I got from Sephora was this Kat Von D 
um, Everlasting Liquid Lipstick, and it's in Lolita, and I've been wanting this for a while now, too. So, it just looks like this. It's like a nice mauve color. Um, you guys are probably seeing what it looks like, but it's really pretty, and it's just like one of those, um, liquid to matte lipsticks so it looks like that right there i don't have it on today um but yeah i'm so excited for this i love this color so so much and i've been trying to get it but it's always out of stock okay so the next thing that i picked up was this rimmel london stay matte liquid mousse foundation um and mine's in 010 light porcelain it looks like this this has been raved about on youtube as well um i just haven't tried it yet because i have very dry skin as you may know because i mention it every single time i make a video Okay, so the next thing that I have in here is another thing from Sephora, and I got this with... Oh, wait, that's not from Sephora. Just kidding. Okay, so the next thing that I got was this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream because I've been digging them recently, and I grabbed this shade at Face Size because they didn't have it at Ulta, and it's the um, Soft Matte Lip Cream cream in Transylvania and it's just like a dark, like purple, almost black shade, and it's really pretty, um, but I have to find like a really good lip liner for it. Um, which I have yet to do, but that's it right there. It's really pretty and it's very buildable So like when you put on your lips and you build it up, it can almost look black a little bit Okay, so the next thing that I got at face values was this Maybelline fit me concealer um, And it just looked like this and mine's in light. I think or no, it's in fair um, Yeah, 15 fair. I didn't get the other one because it was like darker than this one for some reason like the lightest one was a little bit darker than this one so I got this one um, because it looked lighter but yeah I just grabbed this um, I used I've used it before um, but the darker one like the first shade that they offer is darker than the second shade and the first shade I got once and it was way too dark and this shade seems to be okay but yeah I do like the consistency of it and everything so I just picked up another one because I realized that the second shade is actually lighter than the first shade if that makes any sense I don't know if I'm confusing you guys but yeah I did grab this um, so yeah <laughs> okay so the next thing that I got was from Sephora and I got this with my points and um, this is just a Makeup Forever Professional Paris Smoky Extravagant Mascara. It's just like a sample size. I've never used it before um, so hopefully I like it. And then the next thing that I got was another thing from with my points. It's just another sample thing that they gave me and it's a Versace Bright Crystal um, Rollerball Perfume and um, I smelled it and I really like it so I might get the full size. This thing is another drugstore thing and this is um, an NYC smooth smooch proof um what is this uh liquid lip stain and it just looks like this it's kind of like a mauvey color but this one doesn't really it's not really pigmented that much um so i'm not really that crazy about it but it kind of almost looks like lolita but i don't know it's a little bit like more mauve i think but this this shade is pretty if you put it on top of the right lipstick i feel like and it doesn't really dry matte but it's I like it, I guess. It was only like $2, so I figured why not grab it. Then the next thing that I got was another sample thing that she threw in here. And this is the NARS um, Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. And it just looks like this. And I don't know, I've never tried it before, so that's exciting. And then the next thing that I got is actually the last thing. Um, and this is an e.l.f. blush in mellow mauve and it just looks like this and i thought it was really pretty um it's like a kind of like a mauvey nude color and i just thought it was very subtle um for like summer and stuff like that just because i don't like to put a lot of makeup on in the summer so it's very subtle and i like subtle blushes because my face is like red naturally for some reason so i did pick this little guy up and i really like it so far it does have a little bit of shimmer in it but it's not like anything overwhelming and it just looks like that it's like hard to see because it's like very nude color but yeah so i just grabbed this little blush because i figured i couldn't pass him up because he was so pretty and i don't really have that many elf blushes but i do the one that i do have i really like so i figured why not try this one okay so that's everything in my collective haul i've kind of just gone to a ton of places and just kind of picked up stuff randomly throughout the month and i figured why not show you guys um so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe because it helps me out a lot and it's free um so yeah besides that i don't think i have anything else to say so until next time i will see you in my next video bye